Hi, welcome to the MuleSoft tutorials. This is Akash and in this video we'll discuss about the transform messages and we have few predefined functions in data view so we'll try to use those functions and see we'll see that how things are going. So to start with we'll create one new project. We'll go to Mule project and then here we'll write the transform transform project my let's say project name click on finish okay so we have transform proj and now what i will do i will drag one http and i will configure this i click on okay we'll save this and now i will drag one transformer messages message so with the, here the output is application java and we will storing that in payload so in this video we'll discuss about these predefined functions so we have let's say first function is substring so let's say first name then let's say payload dot first name 0 dot dot 3 so this will divide my string into 0 1 2 3 okay so let's say the substring name is akash and it will divide into a k a s only and if you want to reverse the string we'll use the same thing but uh, the but the parameters we'll pass is minus one dot dot zero so this will reverse the string so let's say my name is akash this will be h s a k a and if you want to replace something so we can use uh, replace with so here let's say i want to replace first name akash replace h with new so this will replace h with new so replace h with new so this the output will be the a k a s new and then we have size of size of function is used to give the size of that particular variable let's say i'm using a string so it will give me the size of uh, the characters if i'm using uh, an array it will give me the size of the array if i'm using list it will give me the size of list so we have size of operator so if you want to write let's say first name akash size s i z d size of this is uh, it's basically you can say uh, it's a case sensitive so we need to have size of Akash this will be in double quote because it's a string so this will give me the size of uh, let's say my size is Akash which will give me the size of Akash give a comma over here and now let's say I want to concatenate two strings so for that we can use double sign double plus sign so you can say name colon Akash I want to concatenate something so I will do plus plus let's say I want to add one space between that and then plus plus I will do right Ranglani. So this is uh, you can say concatenation. This is replace with. Then we have trim. This will remove the extra spaces. So let's say my name goes to inside there. I add it like this. So there are many spaces inside this. So what I will use? I will use my trim command to remove the spaces. So I will just use before that I will use trim. Sorry, trim. So this will remove all the spaces. And then comma. Then we'll have now now operate now is will give the current time. So let's say time now. That's it. And then we have floor a seal function floor function will give you the let's say the age is 6 26.5 it will give me 26 
and the seal function will give me the 27 age colon floor 26.5 okay yeah so these functions we can use it or also we have one condition operator which is uh, which is when condition so we have let's say my name sorry my name over here let's say i will write akash when let's say uh there's some variable let's say name equals to equals to in small also akash okay and we can invert otherwise let's say otherwise i want to do anything so th this way we can use when otherwise and otherwise make we can make that otherwise as optional so we'll do name Akash when name equals to Akash I will add comma I will add that in bracket so in this way we can basically do the stuff Right now, this is uh, Akash is basically nothing. I mean, it's not variable, so I will remove this, and also I will add this into into double quote. So we have. So what will the output of this? So output will be first name Akash replace H with new. So the output will be AKS new. It will give me the size of Akash. Name will give me the name space Ranglani. And trim will remove the extra spaces now will give me the time and floor function will give me the age that's 26 we'll save this we will try to run this project run as new application okay So it's still deploying. It's deployed successfully. I will run this for using Postman. I will click on plus. Right. Localhost 881. Click on send button. Executing exception occurs replaced with H. Or oh, H is as you can see. It's I need to give that in single quotes or double quote. So I will write edge with new again i will save it and this will automatically get deployed okay now again i will hit it and we can see the first name is uh, akash time is coming as in georgian calendar So this is basically first name 5 is the size of name is Akash and time is in Georgian calendar is giving and age equals to 26. So we can basically make this as a JSON also. We'll remove and like JSON. I will write this as name name one i will that would be more better to read this size of name i will write name two write name three time and age we'll save it so this will give output in json so that would be more readable format yeah yeah 
name is akash replace h with new size of size is 5 akash is the name name 3 is akash here is the time and then we have age so in this way you can use predefined functions in on mule for data transformation and uh, yeah you can practice this on these things more on your system and then you will get more idea so that's it for this video thank you for see you next video